This song? Oh, it's stronger than the whiskey? I don't know if I heard... Oh, wait, I think I have heard this. I was pretty bad back then. Truth be told, I was. Couldn't make it through a day. I, I honestly drank every single... Like, even when I was sick, you know, even when I was feeling like already hung over from the... Like, I, I was drinking every... It was bad. It was really bad. Not good, man. Uh, what... Today is actually March, right? Yeah, it's March 5th. I've been sober for three years. Two... Okay, so two years and 11 months. I'm about to be three years sober next month. Thank you, man. I, thanks a lot. I, I do appreciate that. Thank you. Not a lot of people congratulate. Here's the thing, too. Not not a lot of people know that I was like uh, an alcoholic. People that watched my streams do did. They knew, but like some people in my family even don't know that I used to do it because I, I used to hide it pretty well. You know what I mean? I wasn't out like sloppy drunk at family get-togethers or anything like that all the time. I only drank at night when I streamed Smash. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I, I really just had to be drunk to stream Smash. And that ought to tell you something about Smash. This song is about being a slave to drink, always wanting it. Yeah, yeah. Lots of people have actually, you know, written songs about being an alcoholic. It's, it's not uncommon among songwriters, musicians in general. It's just, uh, yeah. And even even people who aren't actually struggling with that make songs about it because it's relatable, I guess. Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah, Lick, I was serious, or Lich, I really appreciate that. Those are very kind words, and people like me need to hear that every once in a while. I, so, also, I quit cold turkey. I didn't have, I didn't even have a friend who like was like, "Yo, Jayzo, like, don't do it, man." And, and, like, it wasn't like, "Oh, I had friends." where I wanted to drink and my friends were like, yo, dude, no, 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 man. They, like talked me out of it. It wasn't like that. I, I quit cold turkey on my own, just using my own like determination, I guess is the right word. And it was a physical addiction too. It was like both mental and physical because I was pretty sick after like two days of not drinking at all. I, I got like really bad fucking shakes and stuff and it was just not good. So I beat it on my own cold turkey. I really do appreciate that. So like I said, people who have been through it like that, you know, we need to hear it from time to time. So thank you again, Lich. That's very kind of you. It's really, really kind of you. Yeah, withdrawal. And, and the mental part, I would say, is almost as bad. I would say the mental part is worse than the physical part. Because, I, you know, I suffered a few days physically from that shit. Uh, the shakes, the, like, I had everything. The, like, just and, and all I could think about was just going to the store and getting beer. All I wanted to do. That's it. And it's and the mental part about it is for, for a lot of people probably way harder than the physical withdrawal. You have to be really into it bad to have physical withdrawal symptoms. And I did because your body just isn't used to. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like that meme says I drink water one day to surprise my liver. You know, it's like that bad. But uh, a lot of people, when it comes to addictions, they associate things with it, such as people who sm have to smoke a cigarette after sex or food. I, when I used to smoke cigarettes, see, listen, I also quit cigarettes. I quit a couple other substances. I've, uh, I've been down some roads, man. I've been through some shit. Not, not proud of any of it, but I've been through it. It's not easy. I've quit smoking. I've quit drinking again, some other substances. And the, what I was trying to say, what I was saying was the association is really hard because every, like, like, like I said, every time you, for a smoker, every time you have like a nice, big, fulfilling, satisfying meal, the first thing a smoker wants to do is have a cigarette. Ask any smoker. That's the first thing they want to do. Oh, this, that was so good. I'm so full. I feel great. Let me smoke a cigarette. You don't have that. You are just not a happy person. Like it's, you're just literally not a happy. You can't, you just, even if you're not like craving the cigarette, it's like, oh, I, well, like, what do I do now? You, like you have a sick, like you have a nice meal and that's just what you do. It's like what you do. And then when you don't have it, you're trying to quit. You, you, your hands feel empty. You don't know what to do with yourself. It, you know, it's not just like, oh, your, your body needs nicotine. It's like your mind is like, oh my God, I, well, I just finished my. It's not just physical, it's mental. And again, I was just saying mental is just, is just as bad, if not worse for a lot of people. Because it's associated, like, you, who goes to a party after just, like, a, uh, you know, let's say a month of being sober and sees everyone drinking and doesn't want to drink. It's, you know, it's hard. It's hard. I mean, some people do. Some people just quit it and say, fuck it, I don't want it anymore. But not, not, most addicts don't have it like that, man. 
So again, thank you very much for the kind words, man. It was super nice of you to say. And a lot of people who remember me from back then, uh, from Smash 4 days, when I used to stream this every single day, Smash 4 that is, you know, they'd come to my stream and it would be the usual. Jayzo drunk, slurring his word. I have so many clips of me back when I used to be like that. But a lot of people who who remember me from back then and, and see my name, let's go like four years later, to, to, to now I mean. They remember, they see me now and they remember me from four or five years ago. They just, like, they'll, they'll say to their friend, oh, that's just Jay's, oh, he just drinks on Even if they hadn't, they haven't seen me for years. They, I've seen it on Twitter and shit. Back when I used to see the screenshots and all that, when I had a Twitter, back when I had a Twitter, I'd see it. People who do not know me, people who legitimately, self-admittedly say, I, I never visited his streams, but I heard of him. That's what they would say. I've heard of him, but don't know me firsthand or experience my streams or my attitude or my jokes. And they don't understand my personality. They just think I'm a shitty person from what they heard. Heard mentality. Like the people who have seen me, but it was a long time ago, just assume I'm just like I was. Oh, jeez. Are he just streaming Smash Ultimate? He's drunk and he just makes fun of everybody. I mean, I still make fun of Smashers, but for a totally different reason and a justified reason. So the people who remember me but don't know me how i am now they just think oh he's just jayzo toxic fucking toxic goddamn drunky you know blocking people he loses i make a fucking new account every week so that i can get people who block me how the tides have turned smashers how the wheel has gone into the soap i just made that up I don't know. I don't know what how the fu how the how the tables have turned, Smashers. <laughs> I'm the one trying to get to the people who block me. New account every week. Jayzo, he just blocks people he loses to because Zelda's trash. I haven't used Zelda in years. Zelda is trash. <laughs> Smashers, and now none of them can beat me. See, I love I love the comments that I see on my videos because some of them are just like, oh spammy me gunner one of them is like what did one of them say recently no way this guy just uploaded camping with me gunner some shit like that if you watch the video it was one of my shorts if you if you watch the video it's under 60 seconds if you watch it i'm i'm aggressive i'm using forward airs nares you know i didn't do the math on it but the clip is actually mostly physical attacks like nares like the dude is approaching me and i'm approaching him and i'm like I'm beating his aerials. I'm doing what's, what are, what are, what do Smashers call it? Na uh, Anti-airs, you know, preventing people from like jumping over you and using aerials on you, anti-airs. My Nair is their anti-air. So I'm, I'm, you, I'm preventing their approaches and I'm approaching forward airs, back airs. And the, the, the fucking clip is 60 seconds of me being aggressive. Somehow they call, and somehow my comments are people who are like, spammy me gunner. Did you watch the video? That listen. That's why I also think that Smashers are fucking programmed to just not like me, Gunner. Because it, 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 like, it blows my mind how how y y people will comment Smashers. It, it blows my mind how Smashers will comment things that are just false. Like they'll they'll actually just comment like a, a video of a red apple, and and the title will say. This is a video of a red apple sitting on a desk. And that's the video. The video will be a red apple sitting on a desk for like, say, three minutes or something. Smashers will comment on that video saying, there is no apple. The apple is not red. It, it is not sitting on a desk. Smashers are almost as bad as... No, no. Smashers are worse than flat earthers. They're worse. Flat I'd rather be a flat earther than a smasher. God damn it. Conspiracy theorist. Because Smashers, like, again, there's, they're, they just say things that are false and agree with the, it's, that's why, uh, that's another reason that I, I say it's a cult. They just, somebody at the top or known or with a couple thousand followers on Twitter will say something that is either not true or, a, or an opinion, just completely false or again, like just an opinion, whatever. And like thousands of people will follow it. It'll get like. A bunch of retweets hundreds of retweets and just they'll go along with it no matter what it is and smashers will go along with it even if it's just an opinion if it's a known kind of known player a couple thousand followers you know which is fucking nothing i love when smashers think they're tough shit because they have like, you 15 000, you're nothing you're literally nothing that's why i think it's a cult partially because no matter what no matter what anyone on the outside says they're wrong and they should be canceled 
and fuck them and hashtag ban X person. But if someone at the top of the smash food chain, someone with a few thousand followers, someone who labs, spends so much like all this time in the, in the or anyone with even a tournament result says something, even if it's like just an opinion, everyone goes along with it. Their leaders can do no wrong. That's like the main, you look up some of the, the, the foundations of what a cult is, cult-like behavior. Outsiders are bad. The leaders can do no wrong. Those are like the two basic founding solid rocks that hold up a cult. The leaders and known inner in people that are in it can do no wrong and they're always right. People on the outside who disagree with them collectively fucking attack them. That that's that's the cult for you. And that's what Smash is like. And I've seen it firsthand. I've seen Smashers disagree with something that had <coughs> a, a, a tweet or something. It was a Reddit post. I'll try to find it if I can. It was a Reddit post. It had like, it, it was a comment on a Reddit post. And I'm gonna play your song in a minute, Lich. And it, it said something like stupid, but you know, it, it was it was some guy's opinion. And it had a bunch of down votes. You could see it was in the negatives, a little down dudes. It was like negative 19 or something. And then you scroll up a little bit. You scroll up, doodly doodly doo. It was a big thread. It was a big ass thread. You scroll up and some guy who had like a verified badge and he had like all these badges and like you could see that like he'd been in, in that subreddit for a while, whatever, you know, all glorified in his name and he had like his mains as his icon. You know how like some su smash reddits will have like you could put your your main and like next to your name it'll have like your little icon of your mate whatever he was known guy then a known guy said the same thing the same thing you know minus or pl plus or minus a couple of words and it had like 60 upvotes it was identical it was literally identical uh, you know for all intents and purposes the same message one guy like just new to the subreddit minus 19 the no some known guy whoever the fuck he was plus 60 like it's a cult it's a goddamn cult bro Holy shit, I'd rather be a flat earther than a smasher any day. Sign me up if I had the choice. Give me that flat earth, dude. Oh, okay. And Lich, I, and look, I appreciate that. Anyone who comes to my streams might feel differently about me if they talk to me for like 0.2 seconds. But you know what? In all honesty, if they don't want to come to my streams, that's, you know, the feeling's mutual. Some people might break free. Break free as Ariana Grande said whatever that song is somebody should make a song that's like about breaking free from the simp from the simulation yeah yeah so some sometimes people will break free and be like oh let's let's click on jason and i said oh by the way i wasn't even gonna bring this up i really wasn't because i was gonna save this for a rainy day but i have this program where where i turn it on it's a bot i turn it on and i can see people they don't have to be talking in my chat they don't have to be in the chat room like saying type 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 to jazo they just have to click on my stream they don't even have to talk and i can see when they join and leave my chat list and i see certain names that's right i don't you may know know who you are there's more than one of you there's a lot of you where people who have been like talking shit about me on twitter on reddit on uh on on the porn hub everywhere anywhere you can think of you know and i i see when you join my shit and i have proof And you're gonna be like, well, Jizo, you're so weird for keeping proof. Well, this is the reason I keep the proof because you, you goddamn smash deniers. <laughs> you smash deniers or you Jizo deniers would be like, well, Jizo is such a liar. Well, then you wonder why I save screenshots and videos and highlights and clips and all of it. It's because if there's one thing I'm not, I may be a lot of things. I may be an ex-alcoholic. I may be me tell me say say whatever you want but i will there's one thing i am not and have never been and that's a liar i back up everything i say with screenshots and all of it just look at my vlogs and videos all right now that was a very very long rant
but that is going to make a very good highlight. Oh, I was just about to do something else, but maybe somebody will play. Thank you for putting some game. Yo, what's up, man? Thank you for the follow cookies um, and Renum Mamiya. Thank you for the follow. I couldn't couldn't see it before. Appreciate it. Thank you for putting on some gameplay cookies. It's nice of you. I was thinking about making a whole vlog, like a proper vlog, about certain aspects of the video game itself. Of course, I wouldn't take the all the credit. I wouldn't take credit for the ideas, but you may be not interested in making a vlog like this. In any case, I just wanted to put that out there because it may be on its way.